Hello there, witches. It's been a couple days. The weekend got away from me. As happens. But luckily, we are witches. We do our own thing. So, I have three days of questions to catch up on. For the 31 Days of Witchcraft Challenge. My name is Autumn. Why don't you come join me in the dark? <laughs> oh, I say that I could have filmed during the day, but this feels better. But of course I had to write down the questions because it's been three days. And they do kind of go together. For day 23, the question would have been, what little bit of advice do you wish you'd had when you started or you would give somebody starting out? And I've been thinking about this for a few days now. And I think myself, it would have been, don't be afraid. Ask questions. Follow your path, true to yourself. Don't feel you need to conform to anybody else. Just to be part of a community. Yeah, and read. Read. Read everything. Read what inspires you. If it's fiction, nonfiction, it all gets us there. It all taps into some part of us that we may not have even been aware existed. Find your tribe. They're there. Whether it is virtual, online, or in person, you will find them, and they will find you. Yeah, that's the best advice I can give. Because that's kind of how I, I got there at the beginning, was finding people like me. And you are drawn to them. It does happen. Trust your gut. That was my other thing. Trust your gut. Just because somebody says, oh, I'm a fellow witch too, and something inkles you in the back of your brain a little bit, and you're not quite sure, trust that feeling. Trust it. It means something. Because many people have come and gone through the course of my walk on the path, and if I had trusted my gut, it would have saved a lot more heartache than some of those in the past. Yeah. Uh, the next day would have been, the question was, are you in the broom closet? I guess technically, yes, I am. Um, you walk around my house, if you don't know, you just think I have weird taste in decor. If you have an inkling, you know exactly what everything is. Uh, I make jokes about, you know, getting a new broom to ride. Not, I don't say that, but other people have said that to me and they think they're being funny. I don't rub it in anybody's faces. If I get asked point blank, I will answer. But I don't walk around going, this is my pentacle, ask me about it. <laughs> uh... So, I mean, oh, excuse me, I, I am and I'm not. Like I said, someone walks into this room, they wouldn't know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, come on. If you saw that, what would you think? <laughs> uh, and then today's question that I can't read because it got dark. Don't catch it off. Oh, yes. Do you teach? Uh, when I was doing my training, there was one aspect that was going to require me to teach. And I tried. Some people are very good at it. I am not one of them. Um, I don't know whether it's because people just... I don't connect properly or what. I'm very good at research, investigation. Uh, I love diving head first into some books and looking up historical stuff. But I am not a teacher. But I am a firm believer in when the time is right, the teacher will present themselves. Which is also a little nugget of truth, so it tracks back to that question. When the time is right for you to be with other people, they will find you. You will find them. When it's time for you to look inward and make your own way, you, you will find the strength. Yeah. 
and it can come from unexpected places. For example, today we went out to a gathering of sorts. And while we are still practicing social distancing, there was about six other people there. We were down by the river. And as the night fell, it was just it was just in the perfect spot where you had no light pollution from the city. It was just you, the water, and the stars. Before the fireworks began. <laughs> and it was gorgeous. And it just is an absolute reminder of the wonderment that is around us that she gives us. That little tap on the shoulder that says, hey, I am with you always and around you. I'm beneath you and above you. Look for me and I am there. So, as much as I didn't want to go today, I'm glad I did. Because that was just what I needed. And that wraps this up. Wow, I did three days that quickly. But they're very simple. This isn't complicated. Be true to yourself. Don't worry about if people mock you if you're not out and open about your spirituality. You don't have to be. It's your spirituality. And if you feel so inclined to teach others when the time comes, more power to you. You have a gift. I think that's going to be it for today, which is we are getting close to the end of this 31 days. I can't believe it. The world is still in pieces, but I'm feeling cautiously optimistic about the future. So, stay safe, stay healthy, and blessed be.